What's up, fly swingers? Fred from North 40 Fly Shop, Great Falls, Montana, tying up a little soft tackle. I call the soft ice. Going to start out with a TMC 2488 in a size 16. Nice thing about this hook is it is strong. You can catch a big fish on it. It's a short enough shank that you can also tie this fly. You can scale it smaller or larger and still use the same hook. I'm going to use some uh, UTC 70 fluorescent green thread and lay down a thread base. Then I've got some uh, black brassy or black UTC wire and I'm just going to tie that in and wrap my thread right back over it. And then we're gonna take this wire and I'm gonna get a couple turns behind the thread and then start bringing it forward for my segmentation. I like running it off the bobbin here because I don't have a bunch of waste each time I uh, tie one of these. And it gives me nice control. And we're gonna give ourselves about a third of the hook shank there for space on the front end for our final stage. And get a few turns over the top turns in front then I can just helicopter that off pretty easily all right now we're ready for our soft tackling stage so one of the things about uh, if you use partridge for soft tackle or even starling um, sometimes getting the length of the feather proportion to your hook can be a problem they're also extremely delicate you catch a couple fish and they'll tear apart one nice thing about this, we're actually going to build a dubbing loop and put our hackle in it just like if we were uh, tying an intruder. We're going to run a little ice dub and then our hackle. It allows you to use just about any hackle you want. This is just some grizzly, obviously way too long, but you can position it and cut it to whatever shape you want. So some of these big feathers that are on a grizzly cape that you wouldn't really have a use for can be perfect for this. Um, and even partridge oftentimes is just a little longer than you want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and use this little partridge piece. So we're going to build out our dubbing loop. And I'm going to wax this. And I like to really work that wax in on this, this guy. We're, we got to hold those little bitty feather tips in there. So I'm going to take my finger and just kind of really make sure that wax is worked into the thread. I don't want any clumps or bumps. We'll get on our crook. And then I've got just a very small pinch of ice dub. This is fluorescent green and olive brown. We're going to slide that in and I don't need that much volume, so I'm actually gonna come in with my scissors and shorten it up a little bit. And then we're gonna get our hackle in here. So once I've got that hackle in there, I can move it to length before I trim it. Make it just a little longer than the hook shank there. And then when I trim it, I'm actually going to leave a little butt end sticking out. When this is spun up, it'll actually just create a little bit of a dark space up there at the collar. So we're going to spin that all up tight and come back in here and pluck on that uh, ice dub a little bit if you need to. And we'll bring our bobbin cradle into play. So we'll get those turns for our thorax and then we'll start coming forward with the hackle. Just 
sweeping those back as I go. This creates a nice spidery looking hackle. A few of them stick forward after I get my loop tied off, then I can come in and just push those back and finish off my head. there we have it come in there and brush it a little bit if you need to it's not like a big intruder fly it's a little indelicate but uh, actually much stronger than a conventional soft tackle with a little bit of ice dub wisping out nice thing about that ice dub is it's not going to fall apart and ruin your fly it's just going to stay right where you placed it that guy is ready to swing hope you have fun with it